What's up everyone, today I'm going to break down four little licks that I like to use on the hi-hats to embellish grooves. I find these embellishments work best when there's really not too much going on with the kick and snare. That way we can get a little busier on the hi-hats without interfering with whatever's going on down here. More often than not, I apply these little embellishments just after back beats, so we're mostly going to focus on phrasing things immediately after beats two and four. The sticking for the first lick is right, right, left, right, and it's phrased like a four-stroke rub. So we have triplets with a little tap off at the end. I find this lick works very nicely beginning on either the E or A uh of a beat. I'm going to demonstrate both, of course, but we'll start by phrasing it on just the E of beats two and four, and then just the A uh of beats two and four, and then I'll phrase it on both the E and A uh in the span of a single beat to get ultimate lick deliciousness. Technically, we're phrasing things into 30-second note triplets, but I wouldn't even worry about that. That just kind of overcomplicates things, and you don't want to get in your own way. Starting off slowly, the first lick sounds like this. The second lick we'll use is often referred to as a six-stroke roll, even though technically it's not. It's actually a permutation of a paradiddle diddle, but I don't really care so much about the nomenclature. Either way, it's a six-stroke pattern that's like right, left, left, right, right, left, and we're going to accent the first and last stroke of that pattern. And this one's going to begin on the and of the beats. So we're squishing six strokes into just half of a beat. These are also technically 30 second note triplets, but don't think too hard about that. Just like before, I'll demonstrate it slowly at first, and then I'll pick up the pace a little bit. The third lick is also a six stroke pattern, but it's only double strokes beginning with the left hand. So it's left, left, right, right, left, left. 
We'll also phrase this pattern so it begins on the and of the beats, and in context, it really feels and behaves more like a seven stroke roll. Even though this pattern is also six strokes long, and we're also going to have it begin on the and of the beats, it's got a different inflection compared to that right, left, left, right, right, left, because of the absence of the accents. This one just feels a little smoother. I'll also demonstrate this one nice and slow at first, and then I'll speed it up. The fourth and final pattern is a paradiddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. However, we're going to begin this on the E of a beat and just play it as straight 30 second notes. There's not too much to say about this one, except it offers yet another inflection that we can use that differs from the others that we've covered so far. And as you probably guessed by now, I'm gonna demonstrate it nice and slow, and then I'm gonna play it a little bit faster. When you feel like you have these patterns down individually, try cycling through them and see if you can mix and match to change the phrases up a little bit. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for this video, as well as transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. And follow me on Instagram, at Drum Merhar, to see more videos of my playing. I also give private lessons, both in person and remotely. So if you'd like to study with me one-on-one, -on -one, send me a message and we'll get something set up. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.